Many of our provincial highways pass through some of the most spectacular mountain scenery in the world. But they also pass through 60 avalanche zones with over 1,300 known avalanche paths. The Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure manages an avalanche safety and protection program to make sure motorists can travel safely through our mountain passes during the winter months. Provincial avalanche technicians triggered this avalanche on the west side of Kootenai Pass above Highway 3. The avalanche was triggered using a daisy bell, the first time Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure avalanche technicians have used this technology. A daisy bell is a cylinder suspended from a helicopter that can be accurately positioned above a ridge or cornice. It uses a small controlled pressure wave from the sudden combustion of hydrogen to trigger the slip. It's accurate and efficient, firing as many as three bursts a minute, each the equivalent of seven kilograms of TNT. There's only one Daisy Bell in Canada, operated by Kootenai Valley Helicopters in Creston. On an international one to five scale, this is a size three avalanche. It has enough mass and power to bury and destroy a car or destroy a wood frame house. To deal with the threat, our technicians regularly monitor snow conditions. When the potential for a slide exists, we'll close the highway, trigger the avalanche, then clean up the debris. Most road closures associated with avalanche control missions last from two to four hours. November to April represents the most common time when avalanches threaten BC highways. So if you're traveling our mountain passes in winter, know before you go. Check the province's DriveBC website for any planned avalanche control missions.